what is good my friend hope all is well welcome back to another episode in supermarket simulator i'll start off with the bad news i know right what a way to start a video i finished recording a three-day episode three in-store day episode and when i went back to edit the video my entire video was pitch black the audio was there my entire video was pitch black and it's my fault that's nothing technical that I couldn't uh, fix before I started recording. I just failed to go back and check to make sure that OBS was recording. So usually I check, I do a mic check now, and then I don't go back to make sure that the actual recording screen is being displayed in OBS and everything is recording correctly. So when I launched OBS, it said um, something not responding. So I was like, all right, cool, whatever. I'll go back and fix it. I never went back to fix it. And so that episode is now all audio pitch black so i'll tell you what i did uh we purchased a new license where we got these four uh nice little sodas as well as uh some brown sugar they call it darren bio sugar and then a new coffee which has amazing profit 476 i call that amazing i know and so uh so i purchased the license without you guys i know i feel horrible but guess what life goes on and we move on so let's go ahead and get started with this episode uh double the work for me and that is okay. I'm good with that. Um, what I had spoken about in that episode was the next license we don't have until we're going to get until we get to level 56. We're at 44. Until we get to level 56, we will not be able to buy these green peas and ice cream vanilla and regular ice cream and pizza and potato pops and veggie mix. Uh, so this is going to be a few episodes from now. What we can work on is getting close to $11,000 to extend the store. And the reason why I want to expand the store, wait, I need to open the store and talk to you guys as we're making money. Where are my multitasking skills uh, dissipated to? They are completely gone. Uh, anyways, so the 4x4 is going to knock this wall out and we'll be able to push this fridge area to this room back here. Uh, it'll kind of have that Costco feel when you walk into that freezer room where you walk with your legs like super tight and close to each, to each other because it's so cold in there. But you need to go get the frozen things that are in there and you can't send your kids because then you look like a freaking ass. Um, well, not an ass, but you look like a horrible parent telling your kid to go in there because kids don't get cold. And it's like, go get that little brown box that's inside that cold room. And they go in there and get it and they were staring at you like you are such a horrible parent. Um, but anyways, not that I do that. I've seen it done though. Um, I don't send my kids anywhere because they're older uh, and I can't exactly tell them what to do all the time anymore. Um, and so, yeah, so that doesn't apply to me, but anywho, uh, welcome back guys. Hope you are having a good day. Uh, we need to make some money. We're down to 99. Whoa, that, that escalated quickly. That went from 44 to 44, but it felt like that bar filled up like all the way to the quarter mark, which I know it didn't, I know it didn't, but cause we only get five SP store points per transaction. So our stores, our, our storage room is looking very, very good. Well, not this. This area I don't worry about too much because it's not that expensive to, to actually fill up. If you catch my drift, um, see, the, I can order two, one box and then this, this is like $11 and this is $5 and this is 18 and you, you get my drift, right? I'm, I don't worry about that, that front side being light because I can order it. Everything is going to be... Stocked up, and I'm not gonna spend more than I don't know, maybe 500 bucks. Now that's if I stick to this. The more I go down, then it starts getting expensive, right? So we'll just go ahead and handle this for now. We'll do this area here. Go ahead and tender it out. Uh, purchase some products uh, don't fit in our storage. That just means I'm out of room for them, which is okay. Oh yeah, see now I only have one of those. Okay, so for now we'll just make that also the long, the long-standing bread, I guess. Just to make sure it has room. I'm um, surprised the Windex doesn't. Did I, did I bring this down to just one spot? One, yeah, one spot. Yep. And the rest of it is full. Let me see. Can I place? Nope. It's full up here too. Okay. So this is one of those boxes that unfortunately is going to have to come up here for now. And then whenever it says I need to order Windex, I need to make sure I fill in that box first. Or that area first. Uh, also, I didn't tell you uh, what I did with the new product. So... Some of the new product, um, I place this, the brown sugar, I put it here because this is kind of my sugar section. And then the coffee, I put it here. 
as you see right here this is the new coffee and then all the sodas we put it in our emergency rack this is still our emergency rack for the most part it's empty but because i just ordered those sodas we put it there but eventually i'm gonna have to integrate them into this uh area here now why is, are there potatoes there i have no idea i have no idea let's go ahead and fix that now i guess we can do this and i'll empty this out uh and why is there paper here i have no clue there is a mod and i chose actually i need to go back to the file because in the file the same file that allows me to stock all this stuff up um there's another box here that allows me to stock everything up uh, that same file also has an option for anything that goes on the street that is not that can't fit in a specific area they'll put it in an area that is empty uh, like that one so it would place something there and so i turn that off because i don't want boxes to be all over the place kind of like these two that was really new to me when i saw those boxes out of place i i i don't remember ever doing that but according to the game i did so um i obviously need to delete this and that's good so i guess one way to add those boxes here those new sodas here is just to go to one per right so let's do that let's do that uh take this out and now we have four though unfortunately i have four different sodas and what i can do is kind of tricky kind of tricky right now um yeah i can do this but it's like i said it's not ideal so for now i'll just put that there and then now i have one two three four areas right so we can start grabbing these and i guess my goal is to just make sure that the the emergency rack that we've made is is always just an emergency and we don't fill it up with stuff that that comes in like the new stuff so i won't have to deal with this for a while because we're not going to be able to purchase a license for a hot minute and so but it's good to clean up it's good to clean up i feel like we're not just being lazy and just throwing stuff wherever it's convenient uh we're actually thinking we're managing and so there we are all right uh what time is it 6 17 we're doing well um I just checked the recording. Everything is recording properly, I hope. And then uh, this is kind of empty here. I probably need to order more chicken. But before I do that, how is everything else looking? I don't have anything like loose out, right? Like this I do, but I don't have any more room for it. Uh, I don't. Unless I can put sugars out, which I didn't even check. I just grabbed these. And it looks like we can. But how many? Oh, all of them. All right, let's go. Okay, so I should be able to put that box in its place now, which is ideal. Here we go. And I, I guess in, back in the day in the comments, um, I think it was Bronk who said that when, the, when you do get more items, so if you, let's say you have, you're selling 20 items, right? Those will sell at a specific pace. But if you add 10 more, that pace kind of comes back a little bit and it makes room to buy the newer items. So before when I had like a whole row of milk that was necessary because we had like six items out. But now because we have so many, people are not going to come in and just buy all the milk. They're going to actually like buy all the other stuff that's in the store. So I don't really need to have, you know, three of three soaps. Two is good for now. Maybe we'll bring that down to one eventually. Like this is overkill, but this is just because of the space that's allowed by that detergent. So yeah, that's that's kind of the kind of the idea there. That's the goal to, to um, try to clean this out as much as possible so it doesn't so we don't run out of an item and at the same time we don't have an item that's you know overwhelming overwhelming the the displays all right and somebody just complained that one of these cheeses is too expensive which one is too expensive i want to know if you complain about this being nine cents more expensive i like i want to go smack them upside the head uh, this is only five cents more expensive. What are you complaining about being more expensive? This is five. Is he, are they really complaining because this is nine cents more expensive? It's nine cents, right? Like my eyes aren't seeing things. Yeah, six fifty one. Someone complained about a specific cheese, and I think it was Parmesan. I can go back to the video and check. Uh, it was too expensive. So I guess when you make something more than than its actual price, 
they'll complain about it and you'll lose a customer, uh, which isn't good. Um, but then again, you know, we round everything up to the 10, to 10 cents, mostly above, right? If something is 555, we'll round it up to 560, not 550. Um, or if it's 552, I'll round it up to 560, not 550. And so it's not good that I saw somebody complain about that price, but anyways, that's fine. Uh, it's no big deal, I guess, for now. All right, here we are. Just adjusting some prices, guys. Uh, let me see what else. I think it was scallops and the steak thingies and something else. I forgot what else it was that we uh, had a price change in. So now I have to look in here. All right, the hummus and the hand soap. Uh, and I should have paid bills while I was there, but let's just go ahead and... I think uh, the hummus changed price. Uh, oh my gosh, four bucks. A whole dollar off. This is going to have a profit of a dollar. That's horrible. Uh, and then the hand soap, 230, uh, goes up to 270. That works. All right. So that goes up to 195. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on the lights. Let's go ahead and open up shop. I wonder what item Two people complain about an item being out. Oh, taters. And they're going to complain about it again. Cause I don't have any taters. Where are my taters right here? Go. Just, I'm just going to tender it out so these guys can fill them up. Okay. Uh, I do need to make an order because I mean, I'm running low on things. And that's fine. I can kind of do that really quick. All right. 1978. That is a total amount for that order. But that should get us through today. It should. Uh, and there are boxes that obviously don't fit into our plans here. And that is okay. Again, um, I overwhelmed this display with chicken because I, I had more chicken than than potatoes and so that's on me so we lost two customers because of my negligence here it's gonna happen hard to stay on top of everything right all right so now we have three taters four taters and then here let's just do this so that it looks okay and i will do this and this and that's how you kind of, kind of how you fix that so we have four taters four chicken i have another tater down here which essentially i'm going to change to uh actual toilet paper yeah there we go even though oh no, stop it. Put it over it. Oh, I can't put it up there. Oh my goodness. Okay. This guy is too fast for his own good. He like put it right there. I'm telling you, these guys, like they know, they know where you're working and then they just go in and like mess it up for you. You saw how fast I literally turned around, grabbed this. And when I came back, it was gone. Like, no, dude, I get it. I know you want to be efficient, but I'm trying to fix the store. Now I just have this box out here. Here, I'll just put it here and I know that I have to fix that later. I just don't want boxes on the floor right now. It makes it hard for me to order the right items. Okay, so now we have we have plenty of potatoes here. Good. We shouldn't have that issue anymore. Um we're at eleven thousand. Technically I can purchase the license now, but that would leave us with nine hundred and eighty three dollars, which I, I, I've said before I don't want to go back down to um to you know living <laughs> paycheck to check pay paycheck to paycheck. Uh, in this simulator that's not the play that's not how you, we want to do this uh how is the windex game looking here uh, oh i can put this box over here so that it doesn't seem like i don't have any and then these guys can actually fill it up please tell me you're not stuck on npc i'm not gonna do anything world that won't be good i need you all right cool i can put this box here and place it up there very good it looks like I'm out of the dish soap. I'm probably out of a lot of things. Let me see. I can just kind of go through this really quick and clean it up a little bit. Not too much. All right. 714 for this order. Yeah, then we just keep piling those on, but that's fine. Oh, everything went in. I, oh, no, they didn't. Wait, what? Did I lose the mod? Okay. I didn't see the message. Uh, the message. Oh, no, this is for the previous order. Okay. 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 All right. Unfortunately. Oh, well, you know what? I think I'm going to use my emergency. Uh, rack uh, only because I have a lot of stuff that I that I have up here here and I don't want to I don't want to just have it all over the place let's go ahead and put you in there and then keep that there all right cool now I have two places for the chicken because I did purchase quite a bit of chicken I hope we need it all right see that I overbought that's fine more toilet paper toilet paper can go 
Let me see. I have three green toilet paper. We don't need that many, right? So let's go ahead and grab you. Well, I can't just throw you in there. Uh, for now, there's room over here. Okay, so I'm going to grab that one for toilet paper, I guess. Change the, the green to brown. Chicken can go down here. And then this other one is here. Now, if you're new to the series, if this is the first time watching this episode, I am using mods. I'm using quality life mods. Uh, the first one that I downloaded successfully a while ago is the mod that gives you quantities in your terminal. So this is actually in the store. And this number right here is the one in your warehouse. The other mod that I ordered, is, uh, that I ordered, right? The other mod that I downloaded is the one that allows you to order more than 10 things at once, which is a time saving machine. And then last but not least is the auto um, storage mod where when you order 50 boxes, they all will go into an empty assigned rack um, automatically, which saves a lot of time. It makes it easier for me to come back and record for you guys. Um, just time-wise, not doesn't make it easier for me as far as work. Uh, just gives me more time to come back and record for you guys. And then um, and all, and I turn off an option in that same mod where any box that is outside that doesn't have a sign place will be put into an empty spot like this one that I turned off that that way uh, boxes just don't go everywhere and then I'm looking around for them uh, and I don't know where they're at it's kind of like lost children right like where do the kids go I don't know so you start looking for them I don't want to have that with these boxes so I turn that off from true to false uh, this dude is stuck and I think he's going to be stuck until I exit and come back from the game which I'm not ready to do uh, and we're not ready to finish the day either. And I only have two workers stocking the store. So I can, I'm, that is, I can see that because of these items here being, um, is your shirt broken, bro? Rip? What the heck? You have a bar fight? Um, I say that because he looks like a bartender. I don't know. You, you tell me. He, he's dressed like a bartender, but his shirt's like all ripped up. Like, like, like he got nasty in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know I cursed. I rarely curse on this channel, but I don't know. Sometimes I just do. Um, I'm talking about a fight, so of course I'm going to curse, right? I mean, it makes sense. If I was talking about rainbow, rainbows and flowers. There's no reason to say the word shit. Um, in RL, I say ish. When I'm in front of my kids, instead of saying shit, I say ish. Uh, and so I should have done that now, but then you guys will probably be like, what the heck is he talking? What is ish? You go and open up Google and you're like, ish, 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 and nothing's going to come up because that's kind of something that um, I use in RL. But I know other people use it. I've heard other people say that, and I'm like, oh, hey, I know what you're saying. Uh, anywho, back to the game. Uh, we're doing good. Checkouts are full. We're at 13,000. Oh, I'm really, really, like, close to buying that 4x4. Four four. Just to have it, you know what I mean? But it's going to take a huge bite out of our freaking balance. Like a huge bite. It is not going to be pretty. I'm going to feel like we're broke again. I don't like that feeling. Right now I'm comfortable because of the amount of money we have. But buying that, which really it's not going to make us more money. It's just going to make me, it's going to allow me to expand the store a little bit. Uh, it's going to put me back down to broke status. So I don't know. I might, I might get a little bit more of a cushion here. We'll see. All right, very good. That was the last customer of the day. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Day 100. What a milestone. We have reached 100 days, uh, which is awesome here. Uh, only, one pro only one product was found expensive, according to our customers. We have 5,300 in income. I like that number a lot. I've seen 44, like, in previous days, uh, not too long ago. So this is a really good number. Uh, we spent 2,800 in supply costs and we made a profit of 2,511. Let's go ahead and start the next day. We have the cheese mozzarella and the scallops changing in price. And I think the scallops are right here, right? All right. Oh my gosh. We're going down to 290. Wow. Wow. 113 profit. Let's go. Is this, this is the Parmigiano. Where's the mozzarella? Is it this one? Uh, yeah. All right. So at least this is, this goes up to 560. Let's go. Let's go ahead and open up shop bam let's go make some money see how close we can get to that four by four upgrade uh which again will knock that what would knock that wall down let me get into some ordering here just to make sure we don't run out of stuff oh shoot actually you know what i had an order queued up already so joke is on me let's just make sure i don't over 
order anything by by a lot. The toilet paper is okay. I'll just take one down. All right, cool. Go ahead and purchase that. Some products uh, did not have room, which is fine. I, I'm, I know why this didn't have room because we brought it down to one. Oh, my dude's still there. Suck. Let's see if I can refill. No, it's completely refilled. Okay. So, unfortunately, emergency rack it is. Just don't want anything on the floor. And what I can do is I can kind of go in there and check that that rack from time to time to make sure I can clean it out and, and take that sticker down. You know what I mean? Um, but the idea is not to have boxes just laying, out, laying around because that's how we, um, that's how we order too much of, that's how we over order an item. Because if I have four boxes of this paper here, it's not going to account for me having 12 in hand because it's not in the right place. And so for now, we'll just keep it like this. And we just go back and make sure everything looks good. Nothing's too empty. Uh, what's going on here? Am I out of coffee? No, this guy, he's going there. Okay, he's going there. He's on it. He's on it. Little Ben. I'm calling, my, I'm calling my workers Ben. I don't know why. If your name is Ben, um, just know that I value your hard work. Um, and I'm thankful for you working at my store. So... Yeah, that is Ben right there. Ben number one, Ben number two, and then Ben number three is currently daydreaming. Do not want to interrupt that daydream because I've heard that if you interrupt somebody from daydreaming, it's bad luck on you for seven years. And so I'm on eight, year 18. Um, I want to kind of knock that off before I get before, so I can finish in three years and not have bad luck anymore. Um, so I'll let him be, and then when we get out of the episode, he'll actually come back to reality and know that he works for minimum wage moving boxes and restocking shelves the sad sad reality <laughs> of an npc um outside of that we're looking good probably gonna end the episode after we hit enter to finish today uh, that's just to make sure that uh, we continue to provide better quality of a video rather than a long video with little quality so that is my goal. That is my dream. Uh, I see I'm lighting some stuff. I can kind of go in here and show you guys kind of how I do this. Um, I know I've said it before, but if you're new to the episode, the series. I kind of look for items that are below 20. Those are kind of like fire drills for me. Not fire drills, but it means like, hey, you should probably order back up. Like, this is close. I can order one of those. Um, 26, 30, anything under 20 together uh for me is 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 means to order see this is 18 so i'll order that uh and this is kind of a change that i made before i would honest anything that was red i would just automatically order two boxes of it and so every day i was ordering like close to four thousand dollars worth of inventory which meant my warehouse was full all the time it looked pretty it looked nice it looked productive but my bank account did not and so i had to change that i had to this number to me is more important than how good my warehouse looked because we don't get uh, perk points for having a pretty warehouse. Last time I checked. Now, if I'm wrong, please notate in the comments that I am wrong and that you do get perk points for having a pretty warehouse. Uh, this is 15, so we're going to order this, uh, this, and then uh, 19, sure. I kept thinking this was salt. It's actually pepper. I don't know why I thought that was salt, but it's pepper. I'm not afraid to admit my uh, mistakes here, guys. I'm not. I'll tell you right away, hey, I messed up, or hey, I thought this. I think I told you guys like eight times that I keep I kept confusing the potatoes and the chicken. Now I wasn't afraid of of, of sharing that with you. That that was reality. That was the truth. Uh, I just for some reason I I tend to do things like that. So I don't mind sharing my uh, shortcomings with you. Uh, toilet paper right here. There's green toilet paper and and then there's purple to toilet paper. Here's the purple toilet paper. And so these I can just interchange. Uh, just to fill in by need. So right there, I had two two of these, and see, I can technically, I technically, I can just go like this, and then just change this, put this here, and now I have purple again. I don't have to. This right here is like my toilet paper area and kind of detergent area, so I can interchange these so that I don't have boxes out front that are not accounted for. All right, all right, we are done with today. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Excited to see these numbers. 64, one item found expensive. I'm seeing that every day now. I don't know what item is too expensive. Unfortunately, it's going to take a long time 
for me to check every item to see which one's overpriced. But from what I learned in the past uh, couple of episodes is that even nine cents overpriced is going to trigger that response. So I'm good with that. I, I mean, I do lose a customer. I think I only lose SP. I don't lose a paying customer. Cause they still buy other stuff. So it doesn't really, it, it doesn't really um, affect the store as much as, as you would think. So we did 4,361, which is not good. That is not a good number. I think 53. So if I lose out on a thousand dollars, that, that, that worries me a little bit. That does worry me. Uh, supply cost was 1700 for total profit of 26. We're at 18,907, which is really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and start the new day just to start the new day. I need to do that in order to show you what I'm doing. Uh, the blonde ale, that could be either this one. Uh, no, that one's good. Or it could be this one, I think. Both of these are blonde ale. I think one's... Nope, it's not this one either. Is it you? Are you also blonde? You're also blonde. Uh, and you're also ale. Oh, good. This one up in price. This is the only one that's like really, really good in, as far as pricing goes. Uh, so we're going to put you at 28.20. Right? Right? All right, very good for a 632 profit. Nice. And and there were two items, right? There were only two items. All right, cool. But that will be the end of this episode. Guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video enough to like and or subscribe, I thank you for your support. Please do a better job of taking care of your health. Don't forget, make your choices. And I will see you in the next episode.